uh, squeeze page all right so same thing with uh, my my hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about a uh, squeeze page a squeeze page but more specifically setting up your wordpress blog as a squeeze page uh, setting up a squeeze page on your wordpress blog using a Weber obviously a squeeze page can be done lots of different ways but the concept is the same no matter what tools you use the idea with a squeeze page is that when somebody visits a particular website they're presented with a kind of a pop-up or a popover whatever you want to call it that prevents them from seeing the rest of your page and they kind of have to put their email address in there to keep going to actually read the content you might be thinking why would you want to do that well listen in we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so the first question you might wonder is why would you want to create a squeeze page and annoy your visitors with this thing that can't, they can't even read your posts right well we'll get into that I ha I have a very good explanation actually it's not my explanation it comes from other marketers that are doing this and before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're definitely going to want to go check out the video because I will be sharing my screen and you can do that at cis433.jsgagnon.com to go check out that video and the blog post that's going to come out of this um of this episode so let's get right to it let me share my screen and let's go into the process so you have a blog I mean obviously one of the things if you have any clue about WordPress you know that WordPress can be almost can look like anything there's thousands of themes there's thousands of plugins you can do all sorts of different things but how do you make your blog like me right there right it's a blog it's got posts in it I can go to the next page I can I can search for stuff I can look at you know particular uh, things let's say I want to look at Aweber posts I just click on this and let's it shows me the Aweber pa pages and everything else right but what well first let's talk about what is a squeeze page if you notice behind me I have all these books from Russell Brunson and one of the things is that in his book dot com secrets he talks about setting up a squeeze page. now I'm listening to the audio so I'm not exactly sure where which page it's in maybe I can find it real quick but I imagine I won't the value ladder talks about the secret formula anyways I could probably look at, at it but that's not important the important thing to remember is that a squeeze page is meant to get people on your email list right so one of the things you have to uh, remember is that if you're doing online marketing one of the most important things for you to do is to build your audience right build your audience and the best audience to build is an email list audience the reason for that is because no matter what platform you're in whether it's Facebook whether it's LinkedIn whether it's Twitter whether it's TikTok it doesn't matter if you build you know a thousand followers four thousand friends on Facebook you know I got 15,000 follow uh, connections on LinkedIn I mean it's totally ridiculous you can build all that up but what happens if your account gets shut down or what happens if that platform goes away and nobody uses it anymore you lose all those people right so that's why it's important to build an email list and to build an email list you need people to have places where they can put their email address in right so the way that I build my email list is through capture pages and things like that but one of the things I I've done a while ago and I'm starting to get a few uh, people to join my list because of this is is adding a squeeze page to my blog right so adding the squeeze page to the blog is as simple as creating a form where you have the email and then you have to integrate it into your blog to allow for people to uh, see it when they first visit your page you can set it up differently I set it up so that they see it the first time they visit and then after that they don't see it for I think 30 days or something we will get into that um but the important thing is that they see it when they first visit your blog and then they basically 
you know they can't see the rest of the blog and the way that I do it is every single time I create a blog post I always talk about the post just like I did right now when you were listening here I talked about how going to you know the the particular address cis432 uh, and telling people to go to that and I tell them in my story I post that on LinkedIn I post that ever so say for example we go to LinkedIn right here and we go to my my posts you can see that when I when I post on my social feeds I post on all social feeds and if I go back to here I go into my whoops my post and activity right here you'll see that and you will do that in anywhere we can do that in Instagram Instagram if I go into Instagram if I go into like uh even TikTok right and let's just let those load up while we're looking but over here if I look at these posts in LinkedIn we can see that I have posted about last week's blog post right here and the, and this tells them in this post it tells them to go to the and these the, I'm sharing in the group so that's why they're showing up a lot but if I keep going and I go down uh, we can see the previous week's posts if we let it load up it's taking a while to load up if I go into my profile and then go over here on TikTok my own profile as well so my post on TikTok I have lots of these like this like see this one here was actually a video this one here's another video some of these are other videos I post but on TikTok I post how like this is one of my blog posts right over here this is another blog post so if people watch these and they actually go and they click on the link they get to my blog post and they'll get that um that um uh, squeeze page all right so same thing with uh, my 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 uh, uh Instagram posts if I just if they go here they see there's a link right here right if they go to that link then they'll end up on my blog post so we can actually do that let's just take this and let's go to that link in an incognito window and you'll see what happens if I just go there right it loads up my blog and the post itself and then it will in a second here after a few seconds of people some scrolling down it'll actually show up the um uh, squeeze page hopefully maybe it's oh it's probably because my computer is kind of slow but this is it's meant to be maybe I should change it and we'll show you how to do that but see look at that see that popped up my squeeze page now I can make that bigger there's different ways to do it but for me I just did it like this and they can still close it you can even make it so it doesn't close you can you can be totally um you know do it so that they can't do anything and really annoy them and the idea behind this is that people that come to your blog from other social platforms either from LinkedIn from Twitter from TikTok from Facebook from wherever you post your stuff they are if they go to your blog and they don't put your email in there then that's fine you they're not going to do it so it's okay that you're annoying them a bit they're probably still following you on social media they're at the very least they looked at something um they probably you know uh see your stuff or whatever at least they have some interest in your stuff at the very least because they are um you know looking at your stuff and this is you know this is just this is here's the previous uh, blog post I had right 431 so in here and actually if I look at this one let me see see more um it's in the first comment there's no comment here let me see I post in the first comment what the there it is right here see this one's the first comment right here the other thing too is that in my stories I say something like like this so let's open up another window here I say cis let's say 430 right, this is what I say in my I give that that shortcut which is that's a DNS thing we're not I'm not going to go into that but basically I I make it so that this goes to the actual full blog post right and it's going to be the same thing this is the blog post to get to scroll a little bit and then after a few seconds I think I've got I probably have to set the 30 seconds it's probably too long actually I'm going to update that right now showing you how to do that but before we do that see how it comes up now well actually this is this is a different thing 
let's just close it there you go there's this one right so you get this squeeze page once now this is a squeeze page I did in Aweber so I'm going to show you how to do that and uh, let's just uh the, before we do that if you want and because this is based on wordpress blog so if you want a wordpress blog and you don't have a wordpress blog you can get one for free using Click eCourse you just go to clickecourse.com you go under more under uh well actually you can go just to slash blog right here right clickecourse.com slash blog do I have it in here maybe I just let you go here this is clickecourse.com and you basically just go to that link and then you actually let's make let's make this slash slash blog right so you go there and you can let's just make that a bit smaller so click ecourse.com slash blog and then afterwards you can just go in here and say register an account to click on the register you can log in as Facebook it's free doesn't cost anything to do that there's there's features you won't get when the free account and you know that's fine you get started with that and get it get going get yourself a blog a wordpress blog and then you can use use that all right so that's just um just you know uh okay so once you have your wordpress blog you're going to go into your wordpress and you're going to go into your configuration and go to dashboard and well actually before you do that you got to go into aweber there we go so under aweber you got to create yourself a uh a list you got to have an email list which I have here called course income secrets um in that list you got to set up a campaign where you just have like a welcome message like say I would go to the campaign here the welcome message is just going to say uh preview right here it's just going to say uh hey my friend welcome you know whatever the the blog post I sent right so this is not uh uh I didn't even remember I sent that email that message right <laughs> but anyways that's the message I sent to them a day later I wait and then I apply a tag Seinfeld because I use that in my email uh, my broadcast emails I use this tag that's basically how I get them on my list right so I'm just gonna close that so that's the email list now you need a capture page so what you do is you go under pages and forms sign up forms all right so you create yourself now I have it right here right if I do a preview here that's exactly what it looks like what we saw earlier right so I'm gonna go edit it and change it right now see it says 31 submissions that's because you know I've got like 5,000 displays and so there's not a big conversion because not everybody likes it right but I'm gonna go and edit this and I'm actually gonna change the timeout because personally I think it should be a longer less time than that that's under settings up here uh is it advanced settings no it's not maybe it's not in here maybe it's in the um oh maybe oh well, maybe that that's configured inside of wordpress we're going to get to that but basically in here uh, let's let's create a form I'm going to go back to pages and form here because in your case you won't have one already so you got to create one right so landing pages or sign up forms right so I don't have any landing pages you don't this is not you don't want a landing page you want a sign up form because that has to be integrated into your into your um, wordpress blog right there's a couple other things we need right so we need a few other things um but okay so first thing you're going to want to go to sign up forms right there and then you're going to create a new sign up form after it loads up here we're just still loading up give it a second or did I not click notes it looks like it's doing something or no maybe not sign up forms or maybe it didn't yeah it didn't take okay so I'm going to create a new one let me just go create a new sign up form and it's going to be um, for my website right and over here I'm going to say that I want the there's the layout the the, the elements the the template we're going to do something like something like this here and with the TikTok, and I'm just going to go like this load this template and the, the clock's going to be moving like this right this is just an example and in here you can do things like you can add text right under the header I can go into the header I can say uh, just underneath it oh no I guess I can't I guess it's got to be above it hey my friend right whatever you want save it 
and then over here you can actually add things let's see uh, what I add a divider add text so I want to add text okay there and it's down here right so now it's down here so I can actually move it after I want to move that up here right there right I want to move it there so you can move it anyways this is obviously I'm not going to go into the whole how to do edits inside of Aweber Aweber has their own training their own their own things up here uh where can you get there's uh, all sorts of trainings for them right you can certainly google it look it up or whatever but this is an example here I save this I have this hey there right there I'm just going to go and save it for now right um there's a counter um that's just the color of that oh those are the, the different pieces all right so I'm just going to go go to step two now in here I'm going to call this uh cis form test two and the thank you page you can have your own page or stay on Kermit Chase things like that uh that's actually going to just pop up something stay on current page I do not want to see show them a thank you page and already subscribed I'm just gonna say that's fine and then I'm gonna go to step three and save your form oh I forgot to save it where do I save it save your form I gotta click save your form <laughs> gotta click the save down the bottom there oh you probably didn't see it oh my my face was in the way see over there there's a save your form see the save your form right here I had forgotten to click that save your form I click on that then I can go to the next step which is going to be step two and I could have saved it here again right whoops I'm on top of it again there's a save your form right here as well so if I want to change that I already did that I did that I saved it so now go to step three and then I will install my form or we use my form that's fine you don't need to worry about this because once we do the integration with Aweber you're going to uh, with a uh, with WordPress you can actually see this form as an option all right so next step is in Aweber uh no in WordPress in WordPress you got to go install the Aweber plugin now I already have it so it shows up right here but if I go into plugins and well actually it shows me the installed ones right here is Aweber where is it Aweber for WordPress you're going to want to install this WordPress now it says connect now I'm pretty sure it's already connected so maybe it has to well that's the stuff wouldn't be working if it wasn't connected but I'm guessing uh form requires authentication hmm. okay well that's that's fine I'm already connected I'm already authenticated but we'll go through the process because that's what you're going to need to do you're going to click on this button here which won't say reauthorize it'll just say authorize and then over here you're going to need to get your your you got to click on this which takes you to an Aweber uh which you you must log in to your Aweber account allow access which I already have access but then you get this code which is unique to me so I'm going to redo it so that this doesn't um doesn't uh, allow access I'm going to do this again and a different in a tab where I'm not going to share my screen let's just stop the sharing here okay I'm just going to do it again so that you don't use the same code obviously if I you in theory you could actually take that code that I have and uh use it in my in your stuff and you'd end up connecting to my account which obviously we don't want to do let me just do that again here all right whoops over here and there we go okay so now I'm going to use the code that's here which is different than the one you uh, saw just a second ago I'm going to paste it in there and then yeah so I should have I probably should I should probably show you this because this now there's a finish button I'm going to have to do it again so this is going to be a third code I'm going to use here but uh, okay just so you can kind of see so after you've gotten the code in the other screen right you get the code in the other screen oops I closed it so get started and let's just do it all and I'm going to redo it again so I don't so you don't have my access to my code obviously allow access it gives you it gives you a new code every time I'm just going to take this paste it over here and then go finish right here like this that gives me that gives my WordPress install access to my account which will be the same thing as what you're going to do as, as you can see right here you can do things like 
automatically pe get people on lists and things like that you can do these default things add subscribers when visitors leave a comment when they leave your website I mean I I I could do that right I could do that over here I could say course income secrets where is it I think it's I got a lot of lists don't I wish I wish it was sorted in order right but it's not course do you see it my course income secrets I'm not seeing my course income secrets where is it there's course talk comment there it is course income secrets so I'm going to say uh, add a tag and say com uh, commented all right subscribe sign up to subscription label yeah sure whatever and then I'm going to do the same thing over here this thing here someplace right there it is and then I'm going to say uh registered registered all right and uh, no, 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 that's fine and then let's just save this okay so that's just the default configuration of your wordpress now let me just redo well I'm going to redo this after this uh, video uh, for my code right so you don't have my code uh but okay so after you've done that then this Aweber thing forms landing pages that shows up as options in a in wordpress so if I click on forms here you're going to see that it's loading up the list right here now it's got the lists and let's say I use sign up see how there's a sign up CIS already I guess we already have that um and I have the ebook thing here so the way it works is you first have to go in here let's say I go back into the list course income secrets or probably the same kind of weird order here mm -hmm. there it is right here so it's going to give me the list that exists in that particular uh not the list of forms that exist in that list right so you see right here there's two lists and it says that it's not anywhere on my site right uh oh which is true right 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 so I'm not using these but you know what you could do is you could actually take this and paste it inside of your uh a particular web page you just take that and put it in your page with me that's not what I'm doing I'm using this uh, uh this da, 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 the pop-up maker right here so I actually have a pop-up where I actually put that in so I'll go to pop-up maker right here this is another plugin you got to install I got see how I got sign up to course income secrets that's where my delay is that's right okay so basically what it does is it creates it creates a cookie for the visitor which make, means that that visitor will not see this again if they see it but I'm just going to go here and let's create a new one actually so you can kind of see so if I create a new pop-up and I'm going to call this test pop-up cis and uh, I don't need a uh, I don't need a title I'm going to paste in here uh is it form no that's not it okay cancel uh you can actually go in here see Aweber is right here I can actually go in here fetching available short codes whoops select the form I get it. and it shows me which ones I have right I got this one CIS form test 2 which is one I just created so just select it and click OK and it automatically pastes it right in here now we could have cut and pasted it from the other screen we saw you know how we saw those those short codes but now I just post it right there okay so that creates a pop-up but it doesn't that's that's not all you got to do you got to have a trigger you want this to be a um you want this to be a squeeze page right so to make it a squeeze page you have to have a trigger here that says when does the pop-up show so I'm going to say add a new trigger I'm going to say I want it to be a time delay auto open I want it to show up right when they open it prevent pop-up from showing to visit again using a cookie yeah that's right and if they stop showing pop-up once the visitor takes this action um pop-up close I probably should have all I'm not sure if you can use more than one of these but I'll just leave it at pop-up close for now okay I'm going to say add and then I want to have a delay here 500 milliseconds is a half a second right so let's say I wanted to uh, I probably have mine way too long so let's say a minute uh, 1.2 seconds 
one one second and a half I should say I'm going to add this like this so now I've got a delay of 1500 we'll look at the other one I have but this one here is going to show up after one second and a half and then this will um this will uh allow this so now controls repeat display of a pop-up on pop-up close oh that's where it is so this is how that's working I wonder if I can close triggers close text forced interaction form submission also anyways there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here like I said you can actually make it so it doesn't allow and it doesn't show and things like that so then over here what we want to do let's say I want to preview there's a preview no there isn't um let's see publish I guess I publish it okay I'm going to publish this and then we'll see uh it's going to be on my blog site net preview there's the preview so this is the preview right here if I go to that it'll show me the preview which will be one second and a half after it'll show up right here this is the new one I have right so let's just close this and now if I go to the webs to my my um open this in a new incognito window now we're going to see the new pop-up and then the other one and the other one but this one is going to show me right away this new pop-up right here which I could remove the close if I wanted to but that's what a squeeze page is that's how you do it you create that like that I'm going to close that but let's just go back if I go back to all pop-ups and I want to disable this one I don't want this test one I'll disable this one and for me I want to change the the this one's um delay right because I find it's too long when I was showing it to you a second ago you see how it says right here it's 20 seconds that's way too long right let's make it right away like let's make it maybe maybe two seconds two seconds is good so I'm going to do an update here and I'm going to see I wonder if I can add your cookie be created I don't want it to be created oh okay well maybe I do on form submission and is it going to be the same one month and then update um well okay so it looks like it creates this cookie here there must be a way to uh, click open form submission what is this what kind of trigger do you want prevent pop-up from showing hmm. okay I don't know anyways there's all sorts of things you can do I probably look it up more but I just wanted to show you the basics now that we have these I'm going to update this with the second now if I go back here and I go to this oh I messed up here I didn't want, did not want to do that I want to go back to the okay I want to mouse over here and then right click on this in a new now you'll see the new one is going to show up now after just two seconds one and two there we go there it is right well not the new one the original one shows up really quickly so that's now there might be a way and that's one thing I was wondering if there's a way to make this full screen um because da, 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 it's not full screen right there might be a way um, let's see this is the preview the create the media the form no I don't know maybe it's inside of Aweber that you decide the size of it uh advanced display there's the display ah there you go okay center pop-up like this there you go so that's a default now let's say I say appearance light box oh I see cutting border frame border floating bar so you have a whole bunch of different things I'll go to size and let's say I want it to be full size 95 percent okay let's update that see what it looks like when I do that now I go back here and that's one two pop up ah there you go look at that it's it's now it's full size that way you can still see the background right and let's go back to here and let's see what else I can do under display size appearance position fixed position 
uh, middle center top center I guess I can position it top center let's do that let's do top center and let's update it so like you see you can make changes to it you can I could probably add some I well not that I could probably I know you can add some other stuff right other stuff other text on bottom right I can make this center let's say like this update and then if I go to view it now you'll see that we have it now at the top of the screen and there's that text underneath the the thing that comes from right so over here you can see now I have something else on the bottom here that I can actually uh, I could add stuff on the top here in the white area and and on the bottom you can't add things on the left and right here because those are defined inside of Aweber which you you could make your form wider right if I go back to Aweber and I just edit this form here go back to design I can make this form wider and smaller and things like that so I'm trying to see where that is under header there's a place where you set the form maybe it's under settings advanced Mm -hmm. no there's a place where you can set the width of it I forget maybe it depends on the template you use mm -hmm. if I click on this width, no. let's close this mm -hmm so anyways that's basically you know that's basically it you create you have to have a place where you can create the form which you can do that in Aweber too and in, in WordPress as well there's other things you can use in WordPress there's a whole bunch of different ways but I was just showing you how to use Aweber in Aweber you just go into design a form and you go and create that uh, in there and then once you have the form then you add it to your WordPress using the plugin and the pop-up maker so the pop-up maker is uh, if I go back to plugins you'll see that the, so Aweber for WordPress you need that one right and also pop-up maker I use pop-up maker by uh by pop-up maker so I use that one now there's a bunch of different ways you can do it but those are the ones I use and uh, that's kind of how I do it all right so hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time